We were all rooting for you! How dare you! Learn something from this! The elimination was so unexpected for me this week. I'm still in shock over the decision. Um, I'm not really sure what Men's Health Magazine's Tyra has been looking at, but I must have missed the ones with dildos and poppers. I'm just uh, baffled. Um, as of this morning, the hashtag Justice for Quinn was trending at number 16 on Twitter. Uh, so I really just want to thank the fans for the su their support um, in all of this. I definitely won't let you guys down. I'm going to keep fighting to get myself back into this competition. So don't get too comfortable, ladies. So we're back from the elimination and wow, like Quinn is gone. And you know, I, I thought Quinn could have taken this all the way home. That just goes to show you never know about this competition. Like it's crazy. The critiques are, you know, I can't speak for anybody but myself, but I feel like I've just been skating by. Like, <laughs> I keep getting great critiques, but I just keep, I'm always safe. Like, maybe I just need to step it up. While some models take the lead, others fall behind. But only one thing is certain, and that's that nothing is certain in the race to become America's next top model. finally won! I'm so excited, I'm happy because I had a vision and a concept that I really believed in and the judges agreed and believed in it too, so I just want to say thank you and thank you to everyone else who believed in it. But I heard through the grapevine that Kevin and his dance mom have something to say about my Adidas ad, calling it Bullshit. Clearly, they don't understand how an athletic print editorial works, but the judges and everyone else did agree that it was inspiring. So good luck to Team Kevin and all the models this week. And remember, it's not personal. It's America's Next Top Model. I know I got a little worked up after last week's workout-inspired challenge, so I figured that a little me time was just what the doctor ordered. And I asked you to show me the restorative power of a good shower or bath for this week's challenge. In addition to our usual judges, I've also invited an old favorite back to help judge with the episode this week. What's up models, I'm back. Hailing from Springfield, Illinois, it's Jay Manuel, also known as Mr. J. I'm this week's guest judge. I would like to thank your expert judges for having me step in and helping decide who is America's next top model, Boys Town. Since this week's challenge is bath related, I've been asked to step in and bring my expertise as a gold member at Steamworks. I expect to leave each photo feeling slippery when wet. Oh, and models, one more thing. Please don't disappoint me or not even my Botox can hide my disappointment. Mr. J, we are so grateful to have you with us. Well, models, I think we could all use a little restoration right about now. Why don't you show me what you got? It looks like a turd on his cheek. I wish I, the photo in the mirror was clear. A avoid having your finger in the foreground of a picture. That, that's what I would say. Um, <laughs> that she has a beautiful face and a beautiful body, but all I'm getting is nasty mud fingers. It feels very melancholy. Like I'm not really enjoying this photo. 
Vinny, wash up, and we'll see you at judges' table. I love this is playful, and it fits a theme. Easter, and I'm all for this bunny. I would hop on this bunny in a second. Minus the, the three bottles of who knows what. You know, Christ rose on the third day, but I think he's risen today. Are you saying that Luke is the return of Christ? Jesus. <laughs> I mean, in this picture, he is. He looks fantastic. This gets no likes from me, and he's holding onto the faucet in case he falls asleep, because I sure am. Hmm. Judges are torn. Who's next? Getting some serious resting bath face with this one. Didn't think you could reenact the Titanic so well in a shallow tub, but he is sinking in that ice. I mean, Mitchell, fantastic body, but what is going on here? I also think he's not giving us enough face. He looks uncomfortable. Or was this like mid fart? This is the second time that this uh, bathtub, that this model has chosen a bathtub picture. I would have resubmitted his first reach challenge for this challenge, and that would have done better. Yeah. Cute underwear, though. Yeah, I mean, he looks great. <laughs> It's like he's, it's like a milk ad, you know? All I need is for him to have a milk mustache and say, got milk, and I'm his. And his bods and his legs are giving us a strong stance. And he has no and arms, but he doesn't even need arms. I wish there was a little bit more of like a, like a sensual face. I feel like the face is a little bit like, ooh, me? I won't cry over that spilled milk. Who's next? I, I love the pose. I love like just, oh yeah, this is fantastic. Th this is, this is again, a f him using a very fancy camera. This is like Kate Beckinsale, underworld, sexy shower fantasy. I'll take some of that fountain of youth anytime. The red nails are, I would let him nail me. Which bitch can follow this witch? Who's next? Oofa. I can appreciate a good headshot if I was given one. Your eyes are telling me that there may have been some bath time trauma. Yes. Look into our eyes. It looks like Kevin is a teenager and his mom just caught him singing Cindy Lauper. Kevin Kevin should look to, to to Lello for like what a really good shower picture is. I want to see a little bit more than just a very attractive man. I feel like I'm looking for more versatility. He needs to be more verse. Steamy, it's hot, it's sensual. Crack kills, and in this case, it is murdering me. And I love it. <laughs> I think it's tasteful. It's so tasteful, like just the slightest nip slip. Would this get reported on Instagram? Maybe. Not sure if you're attending a Dia de los Muertos or Cleopatra themed Steamworks Zoom. Is there room for two in this tub? The the perfect jewelry, uh, again, sultry eyes, uh, uh, beautiful body positioning. Um, this is fantastic. This is like a romantic night. I want him to take that flower, put it in between his teeth, and tango in the tub. This is some tub water I want to drink. <laughs> I just 
thought Eric couldn't grow hair, so why would he be shaving? Uh, but I love the updo. I love the eyes. His skin looks flawless, by the way. He's using his strengths, that's for sure. This is... He's just giving us the classics and doing it so well. I'm going to say five blades, five stars. Hope he's getting those nooks and crannies after killing that photo. Love the spooky shadowing. I love the creativity. And I think Quinn's showing that he's not just going to take this one lying down or in a tub. He's coming for everyone's blood. You want to be on top? Well, thank you so much for joining us, Mr. J. Judges, any closing comments? Just so many shout outs this week. Cymac, just fantastic. I, I love everything. I love the jewelry. Quinn, I think, is telling the only one telling a great story. Luke's is fantastic. Could you just send that picture to my personal mobile, actually? Lelo's is just like more like high class, high production. Lazeric's is the best looking model this week. Um, but Eli. I think has all of these elements in one. Well, then it should come as a surprise to no one that the winner of this week's challenge really milked it for all that it's worth. Congratulations, Eli. You are the winner. Seven models stand before me, but I have only six photos in my hand. If I call your name, you can stand in the back of the room. You're safe this week. Lazaric, Lello, Luke, Simac, Kevin, Vinny and Mitchell. You're both fierce competitors, but I'm afraid your photos this week were a bit of a wash. The model who is safe this week is Vinny. Mitchell, I'm so sorry, but you have been eliminated. To the rest of you, keep trying, keep smizing, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>